Storm Henk is wreaking havoc on the whole of the UK and it is flooding everywhere. So I thought I'd use this opportunity to have a little bit of fun. So I went online, bought the cheapest dinghy that I could find, and I took it out straight onto the water of a flooded car park with a couple of challenges in mind. Challenge one, purchase a parking ticket from the meter. Challenge two, race someone. Do you think you could race me? And finally, hopefully not get arrested. Oh shit, the police have come. Oh no. After a little bit of trouble pumping it up, it was finally ready to be put into the car. However, this process didn't exactly go the smoothest. I don't think it's gonna hurt. Of course it's not. Finally, I had it in my car. It was time to make my way there. So I parked my car and made my way over. Okay, push me in. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's working. I don't know how to row a boat. I probably should have learned this first. Right, well, have you paid? No, I have not. So let's go and get my parking ticket. How do you use these things? I should have brought an Olympic canoe with me. Guys, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> There's people walking past like, what is going on? Mate, this is impossible. This is actually impossible. You know, I have the utmost respect for people who can canoe. Oh my God, it's sinking. It's sinking. I can feel water in my bum. Oh my God, no, no. Do not sink on me. Bro, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? I'm actually so bad at this. I'm gonna have to use my hands in a minute. Maybe if I lean back more, more relaxed, you know? You can't do something if you're not relaxed. It's not gonna work if you're too stressed out for fuck's sake. <laughs> the Zen moment lasted for about two seconds. Let's be honest, if I was on Bear grills, I would die. I do not have survival skills in me. This is a better method. Look at this. I mean, I look stupid as hell. I look like I might belong in set eight. I can feel more water on my bum. That's not a great sign. Oh my God, it's actually rowing now. I am now a pro canoer. Go pay for your ticket, you'll get a fine. All right, we made it, we made it, we made it, we made it. How much do we have to pay to pay and display? Let's find out. I'm scared to get out of this boat and it is £4.40 for the day. Can we, can we buy a ticket? The ticket machine's off, so we can't even buy our ticket for our boat. It's not my problem. I tried to pay to display. I tried to be a good citizen. This is by far the most stupid thing I have ever done. Look at me. I'm, I'm literally in the middle of a raft, in the middle of a car park. I can't lie, it's pretty fun though. It's quite peaceful out here, you know? Like, aside from the cars above me, obviously. This is very peaceful. Like, I genuinely would come out here just to chill. Maybe I wouldn't, that's a lie. I'm just hoping that no security come because I've seen a lot of police today, so. Everyone just keeps looking at me as they drive past, it's brilliant. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> what is it? Oh, I appreciate that, thank you. As you can see, these lads just made the perfect decision to subscribe to me, and I think you should do the exact same. So slap the shit out of that subscribe button right now. Hello, you all right? <laughs> Oh, come on, be my guest. Join in, race me. I've never tried before. A dinghy race. Yeah, I like it. Just hoping I don't get kicked out of it. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't see that happening. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Do you think you could race me? All right. Let me get like a few seconds head start. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Come on. Oh, no, I can't be. Well played. Next, we're gonna make it over to another paid phone. We're gonna see if this one's on. Because the last one wasn't, I was pretty disappointed. I need to pay to use my vehicle here. Oh, this machine is also not in use. Well, that's just fantastic. As you can see, I'm still out here. Enjoying life, I'd say. A few years ago, I would never be able to do something like this. I had way too much social anxiety and fear of what other people thought to be able to do any of this. And now I've just realized that half the people that I see, even those people that I was talking to before, they're probably never gonna see me again in their life. And whatever I've just done, whether they thought this was stupid or not, even the people that were sat there taking photos of me and talking about me as I was, as they were walking across, they won't remember me after this. The chance of them seeing me again is very slim. And I can feel the water getting in. I can feel the water getting in. That is not ideal. The water seems to be getting in. Like I can feel the water, but it's not like fully in the boat. I don't quite understand. There's a tiny bit of water in the boat here. This is kind of what I'm working with here. This is actually so relaxing. I can't even lie. Genuinely, this is actually so nice. Oh my God, the oars don't even touch the bottom anymore. I'm actually in deep water here. I genuinely cannot make these touch the floor. Oh shit, the police have come. Oh no. I don't think they're here for me, or at least I hope they're not. I really hope they're not here for me. I need to get out of here fast. Again, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong, but I should probably get out of here. I was not worried until this point, to be honest with you. 
Oh, I need to get out. I just need to not panic. And I just need to get out of here. Oh, there's just someone watching me over there. It looks like they're waiting for me. She's gonna snitch. She's gonna snitch. Oh man, I'm actually worried. I've reached a point where I cannot row anymore. I physically cannot row. Oh, do you know what? F this. Boys, we're getting our feet wet. And we are getting out of there. I am too worried. Oh my god, this is freezing. Oh my god, I cannot tell you how cold this is. This is beyond painful. This is fucking disgusting. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever felt water this cold in my life. It's like cold, it's burning. I had to get out of there really fast because I saw two police cars go into there and then some woman pulled up literally right next to where I was. She's over there still. She got her phone out and was looking at me and she walked off to try and find the police, I'm pretty sure, because she was looking at me, me for way too long, following me down the river. I was like, I've got to get out of there. So that is why I'm now soaked. And I cannot tell you that water was so cold. It was genuinely like hurting. It was like, oh, see, she's leaving now. I'm pretty sure she was snitching. I can't be sure, but like, she's only there for a few minutes. And now that I've left, she's left. That is really weird to me. Mate, she's looking at me. 